This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The first SmackDown after 9-11, and of course, everybody talked about that last weekend, and, and it's hard to believe it's been 20 years since it happened. But really, the WWE played their own role in, I don't know, trying to get America back on track again after the biggest tragedy we'd ever experienced. Before we get to the show itself, let's talk about San Antonio. Uh, it's the day before you're in San Antonio for Raw is War. Um, the show ends, you get back to your hotel, I assume, you go off to bed, and nobody really knows what the next day will hold. What do you remember about finishing that raw and going back to the hotel and, and, and waking up that next morning? Well, it was business as usual as it relates to finishing the show and, uh, you know, heading back to the hotel and normal stuff. You'd probably stop off at the hotel bar, have a nightcap with your buddies and commiserate a little bit, which is kind of the fun. One of the fun parts about being on the road is the camaraderie with your friends. Uh, as I kind of alluded to, when I said I had so much fun in the green room. So that top guy is the top guy thing. Yeah. So, uh, and I, there's nothing out of the ordinary. And you go, but the abnormal, the surreal happened when everybody woke up. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the timeline of that, Conrad. You know, I can't remember. Was the was tragedy in the morning? Wasn't it in the morning, don't we think? So I know when I first heard the news, I thought somebody was BSing me. I didn't see how that could happen. Right. But it sure as hell did. So it was a sobering day because the information flow coming into the public uh, from the media was intermittent. We knew the basic evil act that was perpetuated, but we didn't know how severe it was. So, uh, it was, uh, it was, a, it was, it was tough. It was hard to, I never experienced anything like that in my life. So I had nothing to compare it to, but the more you thought about it, more you saw the families of, uh, uh, that were coming to the world trade center to get some words, some news, some something, uh, you realize just how real it was. So you're, you're staying in a Houston hotel after all in San Antonio, you're preparing for the SmackDown. I think you had that 7:45 AM production meeting scheduled in Vince McMahon suite to finalize your game plan. First thing in the morning. And of course, Vince yells from his bedroom, turn on the TV and you witness all of this sort of unfolding and if you had to sort of close your eyes and think back to that moment, who else was in the room? I mean, obviously you're there. Vince is there. Do you remember who else is there when you're seeing all this unfold? Uh, was Bruce with us then? Yes. Bruce had been there for sure. Paul Heyman was there because he had all the inside information from New York city or so he said, <laughs> Paul, he was on his phone. Imagine that, uh, trying to solicit information and he did a good job. I'm just being deterred. Uh, but Paul was there. Kevin Dunn, I'm sure was there. And then it gets sketchy for me after 20 years. Uh, but all the key players were in Vince's suite. And, and if I had to guess the, uh, the world trade center was what, like an hour or so from WWE HQ in Stanford. Yeah. About, yeah. I'd say something like that it was a, it was a quick, it was a quick drive. No doubt. I get it. It's a wrestling podcast, but he's saving us money on our mortgage. Do you really trust this process? The reviews don't lie. Five-star review after five-star review. We make it fast. We make it easy and it's no cost or obligation. Give us a shot to earn your business. I'm telling you, you'll be glad you did, especially if you like keeping more of your own money. You don't need perfect credit or money out of your pocket. So what are you waiting for? Hurry to save with Conrad.com. And you're seeing this unfold. And obviously you guys are probably having the same reaction. The rest of us are what in the world's going on. Uh, very quickly though, we realize, Hey, this wasn't just an accident. You know, there's, there's something happening here. Right. 
is it just chaotic in the suite and Vince McMahon suite at that moment of what do we do next in terms of, cause I mean, and I'm not asking from a wrestling standpoint, I just mean, we've got all these folks scattered all over the country who are a part of our organization, a bunch here in Texas for our, our, our show. Uh, but damn the show, we got to make sure, Hey, did we have any talent on any of those planes? I mean, that's gotta be something that at least crosses your mind, right? Well, it, it does, you know, you, you, you hope that nobody that we knew or we were affiliated with were, were on either of those flights, uh, cause you never know who's flying into uh, New York city. So, so, you know, if you've, you've flown in there a zillion times, it's just, it's just a, it's a plethora of travel and people moving and stuff, things like that. Um, I think that uh, the room wasn't loud. The room was very quiet because we were trying to listen to the television and get the updates as were being provided by the media, CNN, et cetera, et cetera. So, but nobody was talking much. And we hadn't got to the point of uh, what are we going to do about SmackDown? Uh, that was not a big topic. That wasn't the primary topic at that moment, uh, minutes after the, uh, uh, after the, the first, uh, hit. I want to say that we were watching the TV when the second one hit. Yeah, I, think I was, I feel that no, cause it was, everybody thought it was the same plane, just a replay. Right. And, uh, all of a sudden, man, it was, uh, it was, uh, another, one. so then he started thinking, oh, hell who's next. Is this a planned thing for tax all over America? Right. Is this thing that's been thought out and what's next? So, uh, it was, uh, unsettling to say the very least. And, and none of us in that room had ever experienced anything along those lines, nor have we since. And hopefully the good Lord will not allow that to happen, uh, again, you know, I, I, I hope anyway. So, uh, but it was, it was a quiet room more often than not, because we're trying to hear the television and get those news updates because the news Conrad, I don't know if you remember it, uh, cause you're just a young pup at that time, but the news kept getting updated. There was new information coming. I mean, a flow. So I, uh, we, we were just all glued to the TV, like kids watching Saturday morning television, but it wasn't Saturday morning television. I promise. So, you know, now you guys are the decision makers for this entire gigantic organization, and you've got to figure out what do we do? I mean, of course we're supposed to be taping SmackDown, uh, but that's clearly not going to happen. Now SmackDown is going to be canceled. And as the day goes on, I mean, sometime before lunch, all air travel is suspended. So now we can't even fly guys home. And I'm sure oh, there's a lot of talent who, for whatever reason, look at guys like you and certainly Vince McMahon as almost like father figures, but you're also their quote unquote bosses. So I'm sure your phones are just blowing up with guys saying, what do we do? Do yeah. I have it right? Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.